So we all know from watching our previous videos that these batteries do not like to freeze. And we want to talk about winterizing those batteries. This is 8,500 feet in Northern Colorado. And we can certainly have days that get well below zero in the winter. And there can be a snowstorm that might cover the panels for a couple of days. And so I was worried that in that period where there was no sun at all, the built-in heaters wouldn't work and the batteries might get really cold. So my plan had been to build a, a box with some insulation around it, count on the, the batteries built-in heaters to do most of the work, but then maybe supplement it with like some growing pad heaters or something that kick on if it, if it starts to get below, you know, a certain temperature. No, don't use any battery power to heat the batteries beyond what the heaters that are in the batteries. But you're incredibly smart to think that if you capture uh, all of that heat, that you would be able to just have the heaters be on for a short period of time and the batteries would stay that warm. Like if you put them in a big old sleeping bag. I like to build temporary enclosures with two inch rigid insulation sheets and you can just tape the edges shut and close that puppy in and then just peel it off in the summer. Right. You're just building a Yeti cooler around, around the battery. 